Surgery for thyroid cancer requires the removal of the whole thyroid gland. There are four very small parathyroid glands that sit next to the thyroid. And sometimes during this operation, they are inadvertently injured or removed. When that happens, patients develop what is called hypoparathyroidism. That results in disruption of calcium metabolism, specifically low calcium levels. When patients develop low calcium levels, they have symptoms, tingling, numbness, irregular heartbeats, and they must seek urgent medical attention. To treat it, they have to take calcium and vitamin D supplements between four and six times a day. Our research uh, using uh, human embryonic uh, stem cells is intended to create an alternative for patients so that they don't have to take calcium and vitamin D supplements around the clock. What we ultimately would like to do is to use patients' own cells to create parathyroid cells and implant them into some part of their body, any muscle that has blood supply, where it can grow and manufacture calcium, thereby removing the need to take the medicine. I think they would be afforded a significant improvement in the overall quality of their life. There's a reason why there's only one other group in the world doing this kind of research, and that is that working with uh, stem cells is hard work. In fact, it's seven days uh, uh, a week work. These cells are slow growing and they're very finicky, so they require a great deal of attention. Going has been slow, but already we've started to have results. As we drive stem cells toward becoming parathyroid cells, we check for specific genetic markers that we have gotten this far in the pathway. These markers are now turning on for us, suggesting we're well on our way to the creation of parathyroid cells from stem cells. With the monies provided by Women's Health Research, we've been able to obtain pilot uh, data, which has allowed us to apply for additional funding from the state of Connecticut, as well as funding from generous private donors with a special interest in thyroid and parathyroid disease. Women's Health Research is willing to take a chance on good ideas and good scientists. And it really gave us this unique opportunity to pursue an interesting question that I think without the pilot funds we received would have been impossible.